Hello, hello, hello. This is Ken here from RD Labs. Hope this is reaching you well. Coming to you with another one. So let's get straight to it. Um, please, in the mean, meantime, if you haven't downloaded the RD Labs DeFi checklist, please pop along in the description. Click on the link. It's free. It will walk you through the whole process in terms of identifying how to identify opportunities by following this journal. We call this our template, the RD Labs template that you go through before you decide to enter a trade. It gives you this type of roadmap in terms of on-page analysis, off-page analysis, taking a look at whether the project has a product or not, is on testnet, is on the mainnet, looking about pre-sell, um, locked liquidity, which platforms they're using, going through the tokenomics aspect, partnership details, uh, combing through smart contract in terms of any vulnerabilities. Essentially, this is going to help you along that whole path to make sure you're making the right decisions and at the same time mitigating your risk, right? So today I wanted to talk about um, KuCoin. So basically KuCoin is a centralized exchange. They've basically just launched their community chain. They call this the KuCoin community chain, KCC, launched to promote KCC ecological plan. So the ultimate aim is what they're trying to do here is they built this essentially for the fans of, of KuCoin. And this is a Ethereum-based decentralized public chain with high performance, um, high throughput, low latency, low transaction cost, and obviously there for st high security and really to stabilize and provide more phenomenal opportunities. So we've seen this massive movement in terms of Binance coming out with their Binance Smart Chain. So many different options in terms of really this this hybrid, yes, in ways to be able to adopt and provide access to a new, uh, let's just say, clientele, those that are, are really hesitant based on fees, right? So ensuring that the fee is incredibly low, speed of transaction as well, low latency. So they've now come out and launched what they basically mentioned. They've introduced the POSA, which is Proof of Staked Authority, which the ultimate aim is basically to reduce the block confirmation period to three seconds to improve the processing uh, time. So this is something very interesting. Um, obviously, it's added to what we see within the ecosystem. So I actually will see a, a lot of uh, a movement potentially going over to KuCoin. Remember, KuCoin have been around for many, many years now. Um, I consider them as a tier one exchange, but now they really want to essentially grow their 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 base and I think this is a fantastic opportunity and the decision that they've made to move in this direction. So what's happening and what's really interesting, we've obviously heard because of um, like Binance. So basically the FCA, a lot of regulators and, and countries are coming out, especially in the UK with FCA coming out and basically issued a warning, um, basically banning um, Binance from conducting business in the UK. We also heard with Barclays Bank, one of the leading banks in the UK, they've basically stopped all transfers to Binance. Um, so, and so anyone cannot be able to, so they won't be able to make any transfers to, to Binance to your account. So this is effectively causing a bit of an issue for Binance, right? We have seen this before, you know, 2017, 2018, when a lot of authorities were coming down extremely hard on these exchanges, banning this, this on-ramp, right, from fiat to crypto on-ramp. However, we are still here today. So just talking about um, the situation with KuCoin, what this is basically mean, if you take a look at what's actually happened here, to be able to set this up, what you'd essentially need to do is you would basically need to actually, first and foremost, connect MetaMask to Q KuCoin community chain to show it it works. So you need to make sure you have MetaMask. If you do, if you open up MetaMask, then what you need to do is then pop along to <clears throat> the custom um, RPC. And the custom RPC is where you can be able to select and make sure you're filling these credentials. So putting these credentials, which mean that you then set up on the KuCoin um, chain network and then also give the opportunity where you can be able to take a look at projects within their new their new chain so we have actually seen some projects already being uh, listed so qswap finance so qswap finance is the first amm on qcoin community chain um, so basically they're basically launched we've also had 
coffee swap great names so this is like a pancake swap but coffee swap right so this is the dex on kcc with live charts and transaction history so if you take a look at the exchange so this is basically the the dex that they have here you need to make sure you connect your wallet once you've set up the um the the custom rpc just go to that specific network and set it up it's not that hard and then what you can be able to do is you can select the token so currently there what they've actually listed is obviously they've got the coffee swap token they've got the q dodge doge which is like a doge coin equivalent right um then you've got a wrapped kcs i'm sure they'll be adding more in the meantime as they move along but what's basically happening is it's really caused a bit of stir in the market and if you take a look at as a fuel you would obviously need um q coin so kcs token as the fuel to, as as a fuel to be able to uh, to buy to enter any positions so just like with um with binance you need bnb for example or with ethereum you need eth so just so that you're aware so if you take a look at what's happening since that launch uh, which basically happened you've seen the price literally in the last seven days it's literally gone up nearly 100 percent 14 days 129 percent even over a year period it's 1500 percent so phenomenal gains the interesting thing is to see what the adoption is going to be so we can see that q coin have tried to coin it and ensure that any specific project that they list has the q behind right so i do believe there's going to be a a, 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 a interesting momentum of projects now looking to be able to list on on the qcoin community chain or let's call it the kcc so this will provide again value to uh, kcs which is essentially the token which has done extremely well so just giving you a heads up um this is what they're trying to do and i think the ultimate aim now the timing couldn't be better because i truly believe potentially there's going to be a correction uh, the market's going to be correct and higher um back to where we've seen you know from the from the may levels and i think the timing can be better especially with a lot of the regulators now putting pressure on exchanges like binance i think there could be opportunity where a lot of the clientele a percentage will be looking at setting up uh, an account and then finding ways how they can be able to start to use it so keep your eye on this giving a quick heads up if you have any questions let me know please make sure you download the free checklist and i'll be back with you with another one